So I got a request from a guy by the name of Amar and he wants to know if he could connect his external hard drives, so I've got a few here, uh, and also a USB stick, into the Galaxy Tab S6. So without further ado, let's go ahead and find out if we can stick these into that and for that for the Tab S6 to read the information within that hard drive. Right, so I've got I've got this adapter with me here right now. Now this adapter doesn't come with the actual uh, Tab S7, but uh, I got this from my Note phone. So I've got this adapter. It's USB-C to uh, just a normal USB. So let's let's see if that works with the um, actual USB stick right here. So let's try that out. I've got loads of things happening at the moment with the with notifications. So stick it in there right now, the USB. Okay, so I've got here a notification right there. Um, oh, here we go. SanDisk USB drive. Oh my lord. It's picked it up. Oh, it's gone. Oh, very nice. It does pick it up. So that is absolutely. So now this USB currently, uh, it has all, uh, it's got a Windows installation. So it's, it's very good. I'm glad that this is um, happening or has accepted it. That's perfect. Uh, let's get rid of this. So we know that this, in fact, um, I'm not sure. I'm gonna show. I want to run setup. Okay, it doesn't allow that to run. I was gonna run setup exe about the uh, machine, but uh, of course, it's not going to work. So yeah, that's good. So it does read USB external USB drives. That's good news. Now let me try this. Um, I've got this Buffalo mini station hard drive. Uh, I'm not sure how many gigs this is. Actually, this is, doesn't say. I think it might be a one terabyte one. But I have the uh, USB wire and this is a quite an old uh, USB drive. So let's see if that reads it. So again, I wanna stick it in there like this and put that aside. Oh, here's the adapter, of course. So here's the adapter, here's the adapter, and we put that right in the USB-C. And let's see if this picks it up. It's a quite a high capacity hard drive. So, okay, so currently, oh, oh my, I think it's picked it up. It's picked it up, I think. Yes, Buffalo USB. It says here the Buffalo USB drive needs to be formatted before you can use it. See, that could be a problem. I don't want to format this. Uh, I will stick this in a Windows machine to see if it's actually working. But if there's something wrong with it, then um, that could be a problem. I don't want to format this. So it does read it, but there's a problem with this one. I'm not sure if it's something that's um, something worth formatting or not. Finally, I have this Samsung T5 portable SSD hard drive. Um, now this, of course, is a two terabyte one, uh, USB-C. So this is USB-C to USB-C. So let's plug it in and see if that reads it. I'm quite actually upset about the Buffalo one because um, I don't know if that hard drive is actually broken or not. I'm not sure. So I will double check later on a computer machine if, is, if there's a problem with that. Um, but again, it has picked it up. If I click that icon, Samsung USB drive, and again, it kind of picks up all the, um, you know, all the details. And if I, if I just maybe play a video. Oh, wow. It's literally playing a video right from the actual uh, SSD hard drive. This is perfect. So I'm very happy about that. So it looks like that the Buffalo hard drive could have been, because I haven't used it for such a long time, and might need formatting, which is, you know, kind of says it all when you want to store data without using it. But yeah, this is perfect. Um, that, you know, I could stick it in an external SSD hard drive. It depends how much, of course, data you have. You could put all the information in the cloud, but if they, you don't have enough space in the cloud, then I suppose an external hard drive is best solution. Just make sure that you use it on a regular basis. But yeah, 
So it works, perfect. I'm so glad it does. Um, I think that's it. Let's go face top and uh, discuss further. So there you have it. For some reason, the uh, Buffalo Mini Station doesn't work. I don't know why. Uh, whenever I connect to the PC, it works fine. And it's NTFS format, the partitioning. So it should work. I don't know, maybe because it's mechanical or something else. I have no idea. But I'm only assuming that because it's mechanical, Maybe it needs more power for it to... And that doesn't make sense. But why would it ask for it to be formatted? And if it formats, maybe it will work. I don't want to format it because there's a lot of data in here. And the PC is able to read it fine. So, I don't know. But with regards to the SSD, the T5, um, and also the, the SanDisk USB stick, it seems to be working fine. So, I don't know. Um, I don't know what the, what the deal is. No idea. So just the mechanical one is, is issues, and with this one, there's no issues. But anyway, if you are going to be moving data using the cloud, then of course, it'll be a lot easier and quicker. However, uh, cloud storage does uh, be a little bit more expensive, um, and obviously it's limited, and there's your upload and download speed, so there's a lot of things to consider. However, an external hard drive is quite handy, especially if you get like something like that, 2 terabyte mini SSD, you know, it's perfect, very small, very light. Obviously that comes at a cost, but I assume still it would be much cheaper than the cloud storage, even though cloud storage will be always available no matter what from anywhere. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Uh, remember to check out my other videos relating information technology and technology reviews. Uh, hit that thumbs up button, put a comment below. Maybe you know why this is not working. Maybe you could help me out. And I shall see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.